All right, today's class on fractions is on writing fractions in lowest terms. It's also called basic fractions. So when we are writing a fraction in simplest or lowest terms, it's called the basic fraction. Um, we have to divide the numerator and the denominator by the same number. And then once the numerator and denominator have become relatively prime, meaning we can't reduce it any further, then it is considered to be in lowest terms. So any fractions, if we have any um, questions and you have a fraction as the answer, um, it is required that you take that fraction and put it into its lowest terms. All right, so let's take a look at our first fraction. We have 9 over 12. All right, so 9 over 12. And the question is, write the fraction 9 over 12 in lowest terms. So we have to find a number um, that we can divide um, both 9 and 12. It has to be the same number. All right, so I'm getting some answers here. Um, so let's divide by 3, and we'll divide by 3. All right, both 9 and 12 are divisible by 3, and that gives me my answer of 3 over 4. Okay, so now we're going to look at 3 over 4. Um, we cannot reduce this any further. So therefore, um, 3 over 4 is the basic form. It is in lowest terms. Okay, let's try another one. We have 30 over 75. All right, so we have some larger numbers here. Uh, but both 30 and 75 are both divisible by 5. And top and bottom, let's divide by 5. All right, so 30 divided by 5, that gives me 6. And then 75 divided by 5, that gives me 15. All right, so let's take a look at that fraction. We have 6 over 15. So take a look at that. Is that the lowest we can go, or can we reduce this further? All right, so 6 over 15, that is not the lowest we can go. So 6 and 15 are both divisible by 3. So I'm just going to show that again, that we're dividing by 3. We're dividing the 3. Again, notice both top and bottom, we have to divide by the same number. All right, so 6 divided by 3, that gives me 2. And then 15 divided by 3, that gives me 5. So now our fraction is 2 fifths, or 2 over 5. And we cannot reduce any further, so therefore this is um, the fraction in lowest terms um, in its basic form. All right, so let's say we're doing it for the shaded. It doesn't say that, but it's assumed. Um, so we have 4 shaded out of a total of 16. Um, if you count all of them, we have a total of 16. So four are shaded, all right? And then obviously we have to put it into its basic form because that's what the question is asking, right? The basic fraction for each of the following. And let's reduce this so we can divide the top and bottom by four, um, which gives me four divided by four is one and 16 divided by four is four. Um, but that is correct, too. You could have divided by 2. So let's just do that here. If you divided by 2, 4 divided by 2 and 16 divided by 2, that gives me 2 over 8. But 2 over 8 isn't in lowest form, so you would just do it one more time. All right, so then you would just do it again. Uh, divide it by 2, divide it by 2 again, which gives me 1 over 4. All right. Okay, I'll let you guys try that next one here and put it into basic form. So we are looking at our next example here and um, we're looking for the shaded portion. So let's count how many are shaded. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's our numerator. And then our total, um, so we just counted eight. So nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So our total is 14. All right, so our shaded is 8 out of 14. Next, can we reduce this? Can we reduce 8 over 14? And if we can, um, what number are we dividing both 8 and the 14 by? 
All right, good. So we would divide top and bottom by 2. So divide by 2 and divide by 2. All right, so 8 divided by 2, that is 4. And then 14 divided by 2, that is 7. So we end up with 4 over 7. And then we can't reduce that any further. So this is now in its basic form. Um, so first one, um, like I said, um, if it does take you more than one step, that's okay. So 125 and 200 are both divisible by 5. So if we divide by 5, we end up with 25 um, over 40. All right, and then we can take that and reduce it further. I'm just going to do it down here. So we have 25 over 40. Um, we'll divide by 5 again. That will give me 5 over 8. All right, once we get to 5 over 8, we can't reduce any further. So this would be the answer. All right, so 8 over 46. Um, both of them are even numbers. So if you're stuck, uh, both of them are even. So just start by dividing by 2. So 8 divided by 2, that's 4. And then 46 divided by 2, that's 23. All right, and then um, we can't go any further. We cannot reduce any further. So our answer here would be 4 over 23. Uh, 28 over 18. Again, if you're stuck trying to find a number, they are both even numbers. So just start by dividing by 2, both top and bottom. Um, 28 divided by 2, that gives me 14. And then 18 divided by 2, that gives me 9. All right, 14 and 9, we can't reduce any further. So that is the answer there. And the last one is 95 um, over 5. Both of them we can um, reduce by dividing by 5. So divide by 5, divide by 5. Um, 95 divided by 5 is 19, and then 5 divided by 5 is just 1. So anytime we have 19, or anytime we have a number over 1, it is just a whole number. So if you left it as 19 over 1, that's okay, but the answer is also just 19. Okay, so 19 over 1, which is the same thing as 19.